there will be a t come on like literally there's no one on the roads there's there's no need to even have your siren on like that there's no one out there it's eight o'clock in the morning my rose still here from fashion still nyc and welcome back to my channel do not forget to like and subscribe because i'm still trying to get those numbers up today is tuesday january 21st woke up did a little workout i actually get a lot of questions about like what do i do mostly it's just toning exercises and i've actually done a, a whole video here showing you guys my workout plan so if you're interested in seeing exactly what i do to tone my abs to tone my legs my glutes my arms definitely check out that video a lot of these exercises are super easy to do you don't need equipment it's mostly for toning your body so definitely check out that video i'll put a link above here as well as down below in the description box my workout today was mostly legs abs and arms after i did my workout today i put my hair together just kind of threw it back in this ponytail because I have a ton of events to go to today. I did my little morning skincare routine which pretty much consists of cleansing my face with the Pixie Beauty Vitamin C Tonic and then going over that with some of the Super Goop Moisturizing SPF 40. I actually love that SPF. I recently did a collab with Super Goop for their new bright eye product. And what that is, is that's SPF for your eyes and your eyelids. I haven't put that on yet because I like to do it when I do my makeup routine, which I'm gonna do a little bit later. Usually I don't wear SPF while I'm indoors. I'll put it on before I do my makeup when I know I'm going out, but I do get a lot of sunlight in my apartment. And I have also been using a new product every other day. It is retinol 5% by Obaji and I use that every other day to like lighten up my dark marks and also just refine my skin. I'll use that one day and then the next day I'll use just my regular vitamin C from Pixie and then at night I'll do my Elements Peptide for nighttime recovery cream at night. So every other night I'll either do the Elements or the Abaji retinol and retinol it, it can irritate your skin so they recommend that you wear SPF even if you're indoors. <laughs> so, so far I've seen a really good improvement in my dark marks. They are definitely lighting up and I'm happy with the results. This week is going to be a super busy week. Today I'm heading down to Beam Street, which is my dentist. I'm just gonna go get a regular three month teeth cleaning checkup. I did a little collab with them last year. If you do not have dental insurance, they are amazing. They only charge $150 for a cleaning and x-ray. After that, I have an event with Carol's Daughter. Love Carol's Daughter products. I've been a fan of the brand for a really long time. Lisa Price, amazing. Right after that, I'm going to an event with Olay. And Kiki Palmer is going to be there. She is one of their brand ambassadors. So it's a busy day and I'm going to take you guys with me. Oh, just in case you're wondering, the workout gear I'm wearing is an ASICS sports bra and also ASICS workout pants. If I can find the links to them, I will put it down below in the description box, but it is kind of super old, so it might not be available. Later on this week, I'm going to an event with Taraji P. Henson. She just came out with a new hair care brand as well. I feel like this is the week for hair care brands. I'm gonna take you guys to that event with me as well. So I will check back in when I'm doing my makeup, getting ready to head down to the dentist, and then to the two events I have going on today. So I just did my makeup look for you guys, showing you how I use the Super Goop Bright Eyed SPF around my eye. I use my favorite two NARS foundations for my foundation, my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I use a NARS eyeshadow palette as well 
I think it's called Train. I'll put a link down to it below. I worked everything using my Artiste brushes. I used the new Sephora collection brow products for my brow. The brow pencil and then the brow clear hold. I use Tarte opening act eyelash primer nars mascara and then my favorite nars dance fever lip i also use the nars wanted two cheek palette for my blush and then i use laura mercier medium translucent powder the bronzer one for my highlight for my outfit for today i'm wearing my favorite lily sadohi earrings you guys know i love these earrings i feel like they're so chic my top here is that H&M bodysuit that I showed you guys in a ton of style videos when I first bought it. I also bought it in black. It's ribbed. It has that little like fake kind of underwire. These are the Something by Sonjia paper bag waist denim pants that I wore recently in a blog post and in like some vlogs or some style videos. I know these are a conversation starter. Everyone loves these. And so anytime I can give a black owned business, especially a female black owned business some shine, I'm gonna do it. Hopefully lots of people ask me about these pants tonight and I can give them all the details so that they can go and shop something by Sonja because she's super talented. I got a few hours to burn before it's time for me to go to the dentist. So I will check back in when I'm on my way. Thankfully, both events provided me with a lift code and an Uber code. So you know, I'm gonna be out here in these streets. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so here's my full look for today. I decided to wear this Zara coat that you all saw in my recent new in haul. I kind of wish I had a different shoe to go with it, but I like it. Okay, I ended up changing into these Jimmy Choo's. I like these better. And I will be taking cars all day, so I won't have to worry about walking too much in them. leaving Bean Street. I just got a, a cleaning and then they polished my teeth and my teeth feel super clean. So now I'm heading to the bank. After the bank, I'm going to take an Uber to my first event of the night, which is Carol's daughter. Luckily, they gave me an Uber code, so I'm good to go. My shoes are in here, my Jimmy Choo's. Right now I'm wearing my moccasins. So I will check in with you guys when I'm in the Uber. Heading to Carol's daughter event. Thank goodness for the Uber code. Gonna change into my shoes while I'm in here. Unfortunately, I have a ton more events to go to tonight, so I had to leave early, but lots of cool things going on there and lots of people that I saw there too.
going to be giving a round warm welcome to Kiki Palmer and Michelle. Thursday, January the 23rd. The reason I'm tuning in today is because I'm gonna wash my hair with the new Avita Nutra Plenish Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner. I'm gonna do the leave-in conditioner and then I'm gonna do a twist out and show you guys how I do it. This head wrap is from Fom John by Paola. I'll put a link down below wearing my favorite little house dress from the line by k it's sold out guys they don't have it anymore but you can still check out the line they have really cool stuff so the last time i checked in i had gone to a few events with olay and with carol's daughter had a lot of fun at those events i got a little gift bag from olay so i'm going to show you guys what i got i don't have on any makeup right now and if my face looks a little greasy it's because i slathered it with the super goop spf 40 because i went to the post office this morning and last night i did a very intense retinol treatment and so you have to really use your spf when you're working with retinols because it's not good for you to have it have the retinol on your skin and then go out into direct sunlight from the olay event with kiki palmer she is such a darling like she's hilarious and funny and super down to earth loved being able to like see her in person for my gift bag i got the olay cleansing and brightening vitamin c wash and also the olay rinse off body conditioner with b3 and shea butter i think this is available at like target and walmart so if you're interested i'll put a link down below this is open because i already used it i mean i've never had a body wash that has vitamin c in it you usually use a lot of vitamin c for your face but not for your body and your body can eat it too like sometimes after shaving i get those little like dark hair marks on my legs and so this will definitely help with that and also sometimes i get breakouts on my back that can also leave like a little acne scarring and like what can you use, what can you use for that so this will definitely help with that it smells great it's lovely i haven't used the body conditioner with shea butter yet but probably gonna use that today so that is what i got from the olay event it's a cool little event a lot of people get asked me like how do i get invited to events and it's just relationship building with those brands making sure i tag them in instagram posts making sure i respond to the emails that they send me going to other events that they invite me to there's no like right way to get in good with the pr companies that represent the brands other than building a relationship and i've been blogging for so long that like pretty much most of the pr companies here have either i've either worked with them or there's someone there who knows of me and so that's how i get invites to these kinds of things usually when you just start blogging and influencing you'll find that you just start receiving emails like you don't really kind of know where they come from <laughs> they just start to come i would suggest looking up all the main pr companies in your city wherever you live that represent some of the brands that you love and just cold like emailing them maybe once a month introducing yourself letting them know what work you've done letting them know that you like love to be put on their influencer list their blogger list their pr list for when they have events and that you love to be invited and that's pretty much that's pretty much it see i have a little something here that i got from element they sent over the superfood calm hydration juice for sensitive skin and also the cleansing foam and i really love elements products but right now i'm like in the midst of doing a serious <laughs> treatment series of vitamin c and retinol so i probably won't use this anytime soon but once i do i'll let you guys know how it goes all right let's tackle this hair but I'm gonna drink my coffee first
got out of the shower and wanted to show you exactly what my hair looks like right after using the Aveda Neutral Plenish Shampoo and Conditioner. It looks like that. <laughs> Crazy. So my curls are actually really defined, which is great. And my hair feels super moisturized. You can see my curls there in the back. I really like how it came out. And it does feel very hydrated. I'm going to apply some of the Aveda leave-in conditioner, let my hair kind of air dry before two strand twisting it. I am gonna try and do a twist out for tomorrow since I am attending an event with Taraji P. Henson, the drop of her new hair care line. So I wanna wear my natural hair out for that event and we will see how it goes. I think I'm gonna use Camille Rose a Naturals Twisting Butter for my twist out. So let's get started. So I'm just relaxing a bit, eating a little lunch. That's some Blue Apron that I made. Last night, I'm going to use my Camille Rose Almond Jade Twisting Butter for my hair. Got some magazines and yeah. Finished twisting my hair. I just did two strand twists all over in a pretty thin manner using the Camille Rose Almond Jade Twisting Butter. Although I do like these butters, sometimes they can leave like that little white residue and I hate that. And so I usually go through with the Moroccan oil afterwards. I just put a little on my hands and then I just go through kind of each strand to get that the remnants of whatever's left because sometimes it does not dry clear. And that's the only thing that I don't really like about these products, sometimes it doesn't. So you just have to make sure you kind of get all of it out. Gonna let this dry, I'll take it out tomorrow and, and show you guys how it looks. Hopefully it comes out looking well. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna finish watching some This Is Us finish eating my food, maybe do a little online shopping, got a blog post to get up to, for tomorrow, and finish redecorating my apartment. That vlog is coming soon. All right guys, bye. Good morning guys. So today is Friday, January the 24th, and I'm about to take my two strand twist out. My makeup is already done. My outfit is already on. I'm going to an event today with Taraji P. Henson. She is doing an event for her new hair care line and it's all about like natural hair and protecting your hair while it's in protective styles like weaves, braids, twists, wigs. It's gonna be a really great event. I'm gonna take you guys with me. So I'm trying this thing where for the next month I'm gonna take cold showers instead of like hot showers and see if that helps me with, I don't know, just my overall health and also with my anxiety. I do have anxiety. I talk about it every now and then. I've written a blog post about it. If you're interested, you can check it out below. My anxiety is usually tension anxiety, which has to deal with like the muscles being really tight in my body, waking up in a really tight ball, like my jaw being clenched. And so things I've used to help our exercise, meditation, CBD oil, and now I'm gonna try and see if the cold showers will help. It definitely helped me out today. I'm documenting this whole month, so it will be on my blog soon. If you're interested in like cool kind of topics like this, I do a lot of writing on my blog about 
dating, living in New York City, just different like topics that don't necessarily have to do with fashion. So if you're inter interested in that, head over to my blog, Fashion Still NYC, and check out the essays category all the good shit is there anywho i'm gonna take this twist out out i use the camille rose naturals products you guys saw it yesterday and we're gonna see how it comes out y'all it's always a toss-up in case you're wondering what i'm wearing i don't i don't know if this is what i'm gonna wear to the event this evening but i'm wearing my favorite h&m linen top this alexander wang denim bustier that i got from alexander wang sample sale i think that's in a vlog so if you want to see inside of that sample sale and what i got check out that vlog and then this jill saunders skirt that i wore to fashion week i feel like last february <sighs> time to unbox and unveil this twist out i hope it works y'all guys so this is the finished product i took out all of my twists and i really love the definition so if you are interested this is what i use i'll put a link down to it below i think you can see it better here really really great definition anywho i'm gonna fluff it out soon so you'll see the finished product but right now i'm just so happy rose and i shot this look in one of my recent vlogs and it did so well i'm really happy with how it's going glad you guys love the content if you're not following me on instagram check it out that image came with a corresponding blog post about my top five places to shop for designer sales there are five major sales going on right now and so if you're interested in that blog post definitely head over to my blog fashion still nyc i'll put a link down to it below and one of my recent hauls i talked about the jacquemus collection the most recent one that like everybody loved it was amazing well he did partner with moda operandi and literally like two or three days after the show it went up on the moda operandi website for a trunk show so you have the choice of purchasing any of those items from that collection you pay half now and the other half between july and october when the clothes actually ship out to you so i did order something so once it comes later on in the year i'll show you guys but the funny thing is the trunk shows usually last about two weeks this trunk show literally lasted five days so by the time this video goes up it'll be over but like i said if you see a runway collection and you love things from it, head over to Moda Operandi because chances are you're gonna be able to, to shop that collection within a week. And yeah, you won't get it for a couple of months, but you will get it first. So super happy I got what I wanted from the collection. There was one thing that I saw that did not go into production. So I'm kind of sad about that, but anywho, I'm gonna check back in with you guys after I finish my hair. And like once I'm ready to go to this event with Taraji P. Henson, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me and then we'll figure out what I'm gonna wear. Cause I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear this. All right guys, so I just picked my hair out all I did was take the two strand twist apart as many times as possible I used a pick to kind of fill in my roots and kind of what is that called scrunch in my roots to make it more full and this is the look I really love how it turned out and I have decided to wear this outfit because it's really nice today I just changed into this unique low t-shirt but it's kind of has a high neck and the Alexander Wang bustier and the Jill Saunders skirt. I'm going to pair it with my Celine boots as well. Really loving how it came out. It's super defined and sometimes I don't like it to be too defined, but I feel like in a day or so, it'll start to kind of fill in. So now I'm gonna do my stories for the day. I'll let you guys into that if you've never seen me do my stories. I dance every morning while I make some coffee over on Instagram. You should definitely be following me at Monroe Steel. I don't know why I keep saying definitely, but definitely.
fair care line because I want to maintain healthy hair, a healthy scalp while wearing wig, weaves, or installs. So I was like, well, what else am I passionate about? Oh yeah, hair. So then I ran, I tried to enroll into cosmetology school. I missed it by me. But that was gone. That's a little, that's a little yeah. glam session going yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Saturday, January 25th. Yesterday afternoon, I had the chance to go to the Hair Dare University with Taraji P. Henson and kind of learn more about her hair care line. It was amazing, by the way. I wanna show you what we got in our gift bags. By the way, she was just such a total doll, super down to earth, so humble, so sweet and nice. like. I love everything she's done, so very nice to meet her. So she kind of talked about these products last night and like everything that she uses. And she's so like passionate and really sincere about why she got into the hair care business. Here are a few of the products. And she loves these little prongs, mainly for when you're wearing wigs or protective styles that you can really get down into your scalp which is great so this is the master cleanse this is the never salty a sugar-based scalp and hair scrub we have mint condition which is a tingling scalp conditioner this is the guardian a curl refresher with city shield this was one of the products she really liked we have the honey fresh clarifying shampoo this is really good as well but not if you have color and the make it rain hydration rich conditioner and last but not least the after dark and overnight mask definitely going to be trying all of this stuff out for you guys maybe in a an upcoming vlog and just let you know how it works but definitely check out her line it is available at target and there is something for everyone especially if you wear a lot of protective styles or or wigs or you are a curly girl check out the collection i did have a shoot planned this morning i have to shoot something for a brand 
and then I was just gonna shoot one outfit look but it is raining so Rose and I reschedule our shoot for tomorrow I'll show a little behind the scenes of that tomorrow but someone did ask me like to do an example of how I sleep with my twist out and this is how <laughs> I have on like a little satin hair tie and I just tied it around the edges and I just put my hair into really big <laughs> poofy ponytails all over there's about five literally this is all that's all I did it's really light and so that when I take them out I could just fluff my hair right back up and restyle it I don't twist it out again or I don't twist it again I just leave it just like that in those puffs and then I just wake up take the hair ties out and just kind of pick it out a little bit but the curls pretty much maintained pretty well as you can see and that was with using the Camille Rose Naturals products but you see I just went around the edge like that this is how I maintain my twist out for a day or two. After about two days, it don't work no more. <laughs> I'm gonna spend the day just catching up on work since I will be shooting tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and write Monday and Friday's blog post for next week. And then the week after is fashion week, guys. For fashion week, I'm doing a ton of vlogs. I'm gonna take you guys with me during fashion week. I'm also gonna show some street styles, so stay tuned. It's gonna be good. All right, guys. I will tune back in tomorrow with some behind the scenes of Rose and I shooting. Stay tuned. All right guys, I'm actually back. I wanted to make some content for Revlon. They sent over their new matte lipsticks. I think I showed them to you guys in a previous haul and I wanted to just make some content for them. This is not like paid or anything. I just really love the lipsticks and content i'm going to take a series of selfies wearing five different lipsticks from the collection doing my makeup of course i'm gonna have to change my lipstick five times but i just wanted to show you guys kind of the work that goes into creating just one instagram carousel i really love the lipsticks which is why i'm gonna just do this content like a lot of people think that like everything that I put on my Instagram is paid and it's definitely not I would say out of everything I post on Instagram maybe only about 10% of it is sponsored or paid for the rest is just stuff I do because either I'm passionate about it I want to give the brand some shine and I just really love it. After I finish my makeup, we're gonna go through these lipsticks. And this might be up on my Instagram by the time this video goes live. So if it is, I'll put a little link to it and you guys can go and check it out, show it some love and check out some of the lipsticks. I mean, my hair is just really popping. I love my twist outs, like the second and third day when it kind of calms down a bit, it's the best. So I'll check back in when I'm about to shoot some selfies and I'm just using my iPhone 8 Plus to take these self-portrait photos and then I'll edit them in Lightroom and I'll take you guys through that whole process so you can kind of see how it goes. All right guys, so I just put on the first color. It is called Moonlight 019 from Revlon and that's what it looks like. This color isn't really my style but I wanna include a variety of what they it's over so we're gonna shoot it anyway. I'm gonna take this off and try the next one. Just touch up. So next we'll do the hot chocolate, 013. I actually really love this one. Shot that one pretty quickly because it just looks amazing. I love this one. All right, let's do the fire and ice.
It's really pretty. I like it. I never know what to do with my hands. Got some pretty good ones of that. Two more colors and we're done. We're gonna do insane zero two five. I have a feeling I'm gonna love this one too. Have one more left and that's the pink one and it is called heartbreaker 005 and I love this pink it is matte but even though it's matte it's creamy and not drying And that is it. I'm going to pick two photos for each lip color and edit them. Hi guys. All right, so I am all dressed and ready. Today is Sunday, January the 26th. I actually just got in my new couch. I'm so excited. Make sure to check out my home decor update video once it goes live. I am going to shoot this afternoon with rose i'm shooting a campaign for a brand i've always wanted to work with so super excited about that i think this video will go live before the campaign so i can't tell you what it is but as always if you would like to support me definitely head over to my instagram if you see any posts that have sponsored or an ad or a partner please show a little love to those posts like comment save it really does help me out rose and i are gonna go shoot i have four looks to shoot three are for the campaign and one is just for myself for a blog post that's gonna go live next week you all are going to love this blog post i think it might go live before this video so yeah check it out it's going to be all about the best designer dupes to shop out there i have on this off the shoulder bodysuit from shop bob it's by the brand capulet and my favorite and other stories mom jeans that are sold out guys i'm so sorry hair still natural this is day three rose is waiting on me and it's already about 1 30 so i'm gonna head down we're shooting in soho i'm gonna take you guys with me for a little behind the scenes and then we're gonna end this video i think the next video is going to be like fashion week content so stay tuned i got my little bag of stuff here all the things i'm gonna be shooting i will check back in soon look who we have here hello out here in soho <laughs> shooting some content all right guys outfit change number three we just wrapped my last look for today and I'm gonna shoot her and then we're gonna find some food where I am because she's on a diet <sighs> all right guys that is it for today finish shooting gonna go home and get my house together because I just got my couch in and a few of uh, furniture for my apartment so I'm gonna head home and sort that out I will show it to you guys soon that's it for this vlog thank you so much for watching do not forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a video all right guys enjoy your day or night i leave you with soho in the afternoon <laughs>